Minneapolis City Council approving a new contract with the police union today. Liam Bino joining us from our newsroom with details about some of what was approved and what divided the council. Leah? Yes, this new contract was approved by City Council with an 8 to 5 vote. Several members who voted yes admit it's not ideal. And while the mayor agrees, he also supports its passing. Is this contract perfect? No, it's not. That is the nature of a negotiation, of a necessary meeting of the minds. You don't get all of the things you want. The new contract with the Police Federation includes pay raises and $7,000 incentive payments for officers. There was once again concern expressed about discipline measures not being included, but Mayor Fry says putting that language in the contract would only give the Federation control. There was also some concern about a clause that is quick to tell officers the names of people who request their public records. Negotiations for this contract actually started more than two and a half years ago before George Floyd was killed. Killed, but this is the first time since Floyd's death city council members have voted on a police union contract. What we're voting on today is an agreement that is completely blind to the reality of what we just lived through over the last two years. While this contract matters, it uh, is also not a substitute for an involved management, involved leadership that holds officers accountable in a consistent way when they are misbehaving or when they uh, cause harm within our community. Now a statement from the Police Federation says in part, today marks a significant step forward for the city of Minneapolis, the residents of the city and the police officers who choose to continue to show up and do amazing work in the face of such adversity. And also while this police contract is now approved, it will expire around the end of the year. And now almost immediately work will begin for negotiations for the next contract. Kelsey, back to you.